Hi everyone, welcome back to Geek Out Japan. If you are new around here, my name is Kaylee. For today, we're gonna try out a new store. It's right behind me. It's the Akiba Culture Zone. We're gonna try out some new floors for today. All right, so let's see. So on the third floor, there is a ton, ton of different anime stuff. Actually, I like this floor because the figures are all categorized a little bit. So the ones that are being sold, so most of these were actually owned by people before they were brought to the store here. So you see here with Jujutsu Kaisen, there are a lot of different characters, a lot of different figures, a lot of different merchandise. And I think what's really interesting is that we have Jujutsu Kaisen, which has about three shelves above here. But then if we look a little bit lower, then we have Chainsaw Man. So, and there's not so much for Chainsaw Man. Like we have half the side of Chainsaw Man. We see Denji, I see Power, I see Genji with Pochita. And I also see Maki, Maki is over there. But then over here is an anime I'm not familiar with here. Please let me know in the comments. I'm not familiar with this one. It does look new. On the next side, we have Demon Slayer. So we have about, also the same. So three shelves of Demon Slayer right here from different figures. We also have this one. This one looks really interesting. It catches my eye. So we have Nezuko here, right? And then we also have like a similar Nezuko figure here, but she looks a little bit more new. This one looks a little bit more like older. The color's a little bit faded. And she, they have like a different price range. So I think that's really interesting to see how they're both together, but they have different price ranges depending on when they were maybe sold and like kind of the year as well too. So I see a lot of Demon Slayer and I also see a lot of Jojo merchandise too as well for any of you Jojo fans on this channel. Let's see, what else do I see? We see more Demon Slayer. I think recently Demon Slayer has been really popular too. So that's also really interesting as well. I do like these in the back. I love these little figures. I love, this one looks like a little bit of a series right here. Kind of like these characters sitting by a windowsill, different kinds of windowsills. So we have Uzai, we have Yu, we have Zenitsu, Nezuko, Tanjiro in the back. I love these like, they're so cute. I love these tiny little figures as well. And they're so adorable. This, they make me want to collect these so badly. Okay, so on the next section over here, uh, so we have about mm, this side here, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, this one is more, <laughs> it's gonna be half and half. So the first part, I will show you now. A lot of Dragon Ball stuff, so <laughs> all of you Dragon Ball fans, if you are interested, just come over here to this side of the floor. There is just a ton of Dragon Ball just items and figures and stuff you can choose from. It's like, ah, oh, it's like Dragon Ball galore. Oh my God. And we have Angel Wing Goku right here. That one's really, I like that one so much. This one is about 40,000. This one is 40,000 yen for this? Really? I am baffled by that. That's so surprising to me. Cannot believe it's that expensive. In the back of Angel Wing Goku, we have Janemba. And Janemba is like probably the most expensive one I saw so far. He is 140,000 yen. That is crazy. That's like definitely over a thousand dollars if I had to think about it. I think maybe over a thousand dollars, but that's just crazy expensive right here. Actually, I think less than that, maybe 900. But still, it's like just so expensive how he, how much he is. And it's just like, it's crazy because some people would pay for that too. So that just surprises me so much. All these do, definitely. All right, so now we have my favorite section, which is all the One Piece sections over here. We have so many different figures of One Piece and so many different characters to choose from and so many different surprising figures that are so expensive. Uh, let's see, this one is, so this is Luffy in gear four, but then we have gear five Luffy over here in his Joy Boy form, and this is 50,000 yen. 
I mean, yes, I understand that, but still, why? We have Boa Hancock, she's 15,000 yen. And then hmm, we have Ace, he's about 16,000. I wonder actually with these boxes, if these figures are like that tall. Like right here, so we have Zoro, Rono Zoro. He's about 18,000 yen. He's also, everyone so far has been from Bandai. Bandai, you've done a great job with these figures. So I think this one, really tall. So Big Mom is about 15,000 yen. And like kind of looking at the box, I don't know, in person, the quality doesn't look as good as maybe the other ones. She looks a little bit too, I don't know, maybe you can't tell because of the video, but for me, it looks kind of messy and like not very uh, clean. As well as like the one next to her. So we have Blackbeard here. It's like, I don't know, like mm, maybe it's just me, but he also doesn't really look clean. Like if I opened him up, like it wouldn't look as good as some of the other ones I would see. And then over here we have the three admirals. Well, mm, yeah, we have the three current admirals. So, oh my God, my favorite I love how he's like, best for last. This makes me so happy. He's about 40,000 yen. Oh my God, he looks so good. I love it so much. Oh my God, it's like the, Ooh. I'm so sorry. I get really excited whenever I see Marco. He's my favorite One Piece character. And I just, oh my God. And it's like the new one too. It's the one from Wano. You can see the glasses on him and everything. And it's like when he saw, Yeah, and then we have also, so we have Law, we have Yamato, Jinbei. We have Gear 4 Luffy, but in his snake form when he was fighting Katakuri. We have Zoro, we have Zoro with the bandana, we have Zoro without the bandana. And they all are roughly around like 10,000 to 14,000 yen for all of these too. Oh look, we also have the Pirate King himself. We have Gold Roger in the back with Shanks. And he's roughly, Gold Roger is 7,500 yen. So I think roughly some of these prices are pretty good. All right, so that was one piece. Let's take a look at the other side now, okay? Oh my God, Naruto. Look at all this Naruto stuff. This is so cute. Not as big as Dragon Ball or One Piece, but still, I'm pretty happy about it. Where's Shikamaru? Where's my favorite character, Shikamaru? Oh my God, I see him. Yes, I see one. Do I see any other Shikamaru characters? No, but I do see the top 99 picture in the background that's actually really cool love that love that so much we also got some more Dragon Ball little tiny figures too here mm, this one's about a thousand two hundred yen not too bad these little tiny ones oh my god there's keychains and they're still the same price what the why 1200 why why are you the same price as like one of these honestly you're so tiny though I don't understand. Of course, like we got some of these buttons too. Little Pokemon buttons, so cute! Oh my god, look at these! So cute! Where's um where's Eevee? Where's my favorite one? Well of course we got Pikachu right here. This one has like a little bit of a lock on it. Maybe this one's really pop. Oh, they most of them have locks on them. That's interesting actually. Yeah, most of these are all locked up actually, which is very surprising. They're around a thousand eight hundred yen which I think is surprising because they look like little keychains and they're kind of similar to the Dragon Ball keychains we saw. So it makes me think, why are these ones locked up? And the ones, the Dragon Ball ones aren't so much. But oh my God, Eevee, sorry, I got distracted. Eevee, yes, oh my God, one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm so, and Diglett, oh my God. My sister loves Diglett so much. Actually, I think I might get this because my sister is going to come soon. So I might get this for her and just give it to her when she comes. It looks so cute, actually. More One Piece as well. Oh my god, Kaido's crew! King, queen. Why am I blanking? Jack, yeah, I'm like, what's his face, Jack, yes. Um, look at all these like, little One Piece posters here. This is like, really neat. I love it so much. Okay, some more One Piece figures. I can't help myself. But it looks like since we're in like the Vega Punk arc, there's like a lot of new figures for Vega Punk, which I'm really excited for. We got Vega Punk Nami, we got Vega Punk uh, Luffy, we got Vega Punk, one of his like evil clones and stuff too. So that's also interesting. 
Really interesting stuff, ranging from about 1,800 yen, which is still really surprising. So I'm really surprised by that because, like I said, the little Pokemon ones were locked up, but these aren't locked up. Don't understand why. Okay everyone, so that is it for our little adventure today. I'm going to get this little diglet for my sister. I'll let you guys know in the next video what she thinks about it. And I hope to see you guys soon, okay? So thank you guys so much again for following me on this next adventure. If you are new around here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get more videos like this. I will be going on more adventures like this and let me know what stores you would like me to take a look at, especially in Akihabara. Or if you want us to go travel outside of Akihabara, please let us know in the comments below. Also, please let me know again, what was your favorite section in the store? Because there were so many from Naruto, we saw One Piece, we saw a lot of Dragon Ball. Which was your favorite one? Uh, I, really, I personally liked the One Piece one a lot. I hope to see that again. But like I said before, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Adios, sayonara, and we are logging off. Bye bye!